Today I'd like to step away from the legislative world a moment to honor a true civil rights pioneer. I was discussing with a constituent last week that February is Black History Month, a time to reflect on the struggles of African Americans for equality as well as their invaluable contributions to our country. For many of us that means looking back to the civil rights movement of the 60s and the battles for equality fought in the deeply segregated South. But sadly, segregation and racism are a part of our own history in Kitsap County. These difficulties are, I think, outweighed by the inspirational example of the people who fought for justice in our community. And high on any list of Washington's true champions of justice is Lillian Walker of Bremerton. Lillian died earlier this year at the age of 98. She spent her entire long life standing up for the right to be judged on who you are, not what you look like. As the Secretary of State's Legacy Project summed up, Lillian was working for civil rights when Martin Luther King Jr. was still in high school. Lillian and her husband James came to Bremerton during the 1940s when thousands of African Americans moved to Washington to help in the shipbuilding and aerospace manufacturing boom of World War II. And much to their surprise, they found the kind of discrimination they thought only existed in the South. Signs on business windows that said, we cater to white trade only. Lillian became a charter member of the Bremerton branch of the NAACP and remained an active and courageous voice for justice for the rest of her life. Shoulder to shoulder with white friends, she demanded services and segregated businesses. She fought back when black students were treated unfairly in public schools. She worked against the invisible lines that kept black residents out of white neighborhoods in Kitsap County. And she was active in politics, backing anti-discrimination laws in housing and employment. She helped found the YWCA of Kitsap County. She was energetic and positive every step of the way, saying of her civil rights work that she wanted to help educate people. Lillian once said, we need to bring people together for the best of the community. That's the way I work on anything I work on. If it's going to better you, it's going to better me. The golden rule has always been my motto. I'm sad that Lillian has passed on, but grateful for the work she did for our community and glad to have had the opportunity to know her and to remember her example. Her life stands as proof that we can take on the biggest problems right here in our own home. And we can make progress if we can be like Lillian, persistent, optimistic, and courageous. For more information, the book Lillian Walker, Washington Civil Rights Pioneer is available from the Secretary of State's online store. I understand it's one of their best sellers.